Hi, I'm Tom, and welcome to Alley Picked, where I love making cool things out of junk, or at least on the cheap. A few months ago, I picked up this Carving Characters book at an estate sale for only a buck. I've always admired people who could do character carving and beautiful birds, so I figured, why not try it myself? Since this channel is called Alley Picked, I thought it would be appropriate if I tried to carve an ugly bird. A buzzard! Well, this is actually more of a caricature of a buzzard, but it looks like a lot of fun to try for my first carving. I figured if I messed it up and it turned out horribly ugly, well, I would just tell people it's supposed to look that way. First off, we need some lazy buzzard music. Thanks. That'll work. The pattern is slightly wider than the wood. I could shrink the pattern a bit on the copier or I could use this opportunity to show you how to make a bigger piece of wood. I bought two of these at Michael's Craft Store for about 12 bucks using a coupon. Alright, that was the easy part. Now for the carving. I bought this inexpensive wood carving set at Harbor Freight, I believe. What can I say, except I don't think that these can carve butter. I even tried sharpening one of them, but I found them all kind of useless. I then pulled out these more expensive carving knives, which I bought a couple years ago in hopes of someday carving figures. And I finally get to use them. But first, I went back to the bandsaw and belt sander to take off as much wood as possible. I ended up doing most of the carving with this chip carving knife, which I've used a lot. I'm just way more comfortable with it.
wanted to stop carving for a second and talk about my experience so far. First of all, I am not a teacher. If you watch this video and get a few tips, great. But more importantly, I hope you'll get an interest and desire to attempt this challenge for yourself. It really is easier than it looks. If you don't have a bandsaw like I used at the beginning, you could use a jigsaw. If you don't have a lot of tools, you could just use a knife, but it's going to take you a lot longer. I've done what you see here in one evening. It's really starting to take shape. And I do have to say that it's somewhat addicting and kind of relaxing. It's a great thing to do while watching the news or some other program where you don't have to stare at the screen the whole time. The book that I have does come with some instructions, but I found them not really useful for a beginner. So I ended up putting it down and pretty much going off just the pictures. I keep hacking away at it, taking a little bit more off, not too much, until it sort of looks natural. I match it up with the pictures and then I just keep going. Thanks for sticking with me so far. If you're not a subscriber to Alley Picked, I hope you'll do so. Give the video a thumbs up when you're finished watching it. And if you want to be notified when I release a future video, please click on the bell. All right, let's finish this up. When it looks like I can't take any more off with the knife, I'll use 80 grit sandpaper to remove all the rough looking knife cuts. This makes pretty quick work of the soft bass wood. Once all the edges are smooth enough to my satisfaction, I use 220 grit sandpaper. One suggestion I found in the instructions was to seal the wood before painting. To do this, I'm using a 50-50 mixture of unwaxed shellac sealer and denatured alcohol. Now the fun part, painting the buzzard. Whatever colors I don't have, I'm gonna have to mix. I'll try to match the colors to the book as close as possible. This brown is not the final color, it's just the base coat. So what do you think of my buzzard? Took me about eight hours to complete. I definitely have more confidence going into the next one. All right, so honestly, what do you think? Oh, come on, it's supposed to look that way.